Did you get a big tax refund this year? If so, you were definitely thrilled to get it, right? But is getting that big tax refund really the best thing for your financial situation? The common argument against getting a big tax refund is that you've given an interest-free loan to the government for the past year when you could have had that money all along. And that's true. If your budget is tight, or worse, you have late payments or are having to lean on things like credit cards to get you until the next pay period, then you're better off adjusting your withholding in order to get your money now, not next tax season. But the reality is that a tax refund is the biggest windfall most households can hope to see all year. And in such cases, it's often the one shot to make measurable progress financially, whether it's paying down debt or saving for things like emergencies and retirement. If that's how you're using your tax refund, I'm not gonna say that's bad, particularly if the odds are high that the money would otherwise get frittered away if it was sprinkled in tiny increments across a year's worth of paychecks. One caveat, if you're paying for a refund anticipation loan, you're paying a steep fee to get your own money back. It's like paying a $5 ATM fee in order to withdraw 20 bucks. In this case, you're better off getting it spread over the year a little bit more each payday. There isn't one blanket answer that's right for everybody, but there's likely one answer that is right for you. Ask yourself if you're robbing Peter to pay Paul, if you're paying fees to get the refund quick because you need the money yesterday, or if you're truly putting the windfall of a refund to good use when it comes in, boosting savings or knocking out debt. Be honest with yourself in this assessment.